When the sports world Father's Day means the final day at the U.S. Open, the toughest test in all of golf, and coming into today, you have plenty of storylines. Jason Day, who's been battling vertigo since Friday, Dustin Johnson, who's led at majors on Sundays but never finished, and Jordan Spieth, who was looking to follow up his Masters win earlier this year with another major. Now, the number one player in the world, Rory McIlroy, he won in 2011, entered the day plus four, eight off the lead. He'd finish at even par, but look at this putty drains, putting the pressure on the leaders early. But let's get to that finish. Final hold, Jordan Spieth tied for the lead, putting for Eagle, and he just misses out. But that tap in birdie would put him in the clubhouse at minus five, setting the stage for Dustin Johnson right behind him. This Eagle putt to win the open. Bit of a mystery though, missed it off to the left and then blew it by the hole. He now needs this putt to force a Monday playoff, and he would miss. 2015 looking like the year for Jordan Spieth. He becomes the first player to win the Masters and the U.S. Open in the same year since Tiger Woods did it in 2002. I can't seem to wrap my head around the finish of today. Every single uh, thing that I'm able to do seems to, somebody seems to find a, a history, a history lesson on why I was the youngest to do something. So, um, or, or as, as young as somebody way back when. Some baseball now, Dodgers, Giants, Scott Van Slyke with his son before the game. Cool Father's Day present there. First inning, Tim Lincecum, wild pitch. That would score a run, and it was that kind of afternoon for the man they call the freak. Not a good outing. Second inning, Dodgers already three up. Jock Peterson crushes it off the wall in right center. Puig would score, and this was the shortest outing of Lincecum's career. He lasted just an inning and a third. Dodgers win it 10-2. to two. Now, sometimes it's worth the wait. I think NASCAR fans would agree after they watched the Xfinity Series race from earlier today, the race originally scheduled for Saturday, but it was postponed because of rain. Today, a course record 23 lead changes kept things interesting. Check this out. Ryan Blandley goes from 10th place after a pit stop all the way to first, and he would go on to win with an almost two-second lead. This was just his second win this week. Now, two days ago, he won the Truck Series race at Iowa Speedway. He is on fire. Now, finally, the Women's World Cup round of 16, win or go home. Coming into this tournament, U.S., Germany, and Brazil were the strong favorites. Now, we wouldn't be showing you this unless something crazy happened, and sure enough, it did. 80th minute, here it is, Australia on the break. They would score first, and they would hang on for the win. The Aussies with one of the upsets of the tournament. Marta and Brazil are going home. Meanwhile, the U.S. plays tomorrow against Colombia. Now, Cassie, I know you got tomorrow off. Are you going to watch the U.S. play? <laughs> oh, of course. I'm a huge soccer fan. Yeah, there's a bit of history between these two teams. They've been kind of smack-talking the last two days. Oh, In really? 2012, one of the Colombian players actually punched Abby Wambach, a U.S. player, in the face. That is so we'll not see if good. that comes back. Well, 